Hey guys, what's up? Today we are here and we're gonna. Today we are here. We're gonna talk about what is wrong with our transfer, our, our new transfer system set. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we are this much in the league, at least for me. I am. At least everybody is. Everybody is in the 19th day of the 28th in the league, and. This transfer season has been as crazy as the actual transfer season in Europe. Because look at this. Even for this player. We uh, we still have people carrying up to 8, 10. And I have no problem with that. But the problem I have is this. I am at level 27. And these people in these in, in these transfer systems are at level 5 and level 1 level all this kind of level and the thing is that when we have everybody knows how it is when when, when they start when they start up 11 you have you get a, a, a good a decent amount of tokens I suppose to believe 40 tokens if not it raises over time but that's how many tokens we're gonna here to the I'm even at 6, I'm level 27. This is something that really messed up the transfer season. You have players that should be selling easy. At least this one is selling no. Yeah. In this player is still selling a lot. C678. And it just goes on and on. So many young new managers and some old ones and such the way it should have been it should have been the way it was normally where you bid against players that are in the league that you are in that way it's more fair that way you don't have to spend ridiculous amount of tokens on players but unfortunately they want us to spend a lot of tokens so this player got for nine you have players that uh, like, like the attack me free center that a lot of people are gonna bet on me and it's because I have two attack me free center really, and stuff see and the next thing is with some transfer with some managers especially they bid on players that they see other people bidding on I don't know why they do it I don't know if it's because they think that because we're bidding on that certain player means that we see something in them. Yes, most time we see things in them. We see we, we when, when you go into a transfer season, at least transfer period, transfer transfer phase, we go and we bid for the the certain player that we want, the certain position that we want them in, and the certain skill level that we want them at. You know, we we as 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 the elite managers here, we, we we don't bid on players just for sake, just because we see these players, all these players attack me free center, and we're not gonna make that kind of decision when in our in our team we have two attack me free center of good quality. That it that for me is this guy and this guy and it does it just doesn't work. The other thing is that for the skull players, it seems like they can perform good because I don't know why. Mostly, it it takes a lot for them to even get a seven ratings in the game. Especially this player, I should show you something. Skills. Is that? Yeah. Look at the ratings for the farm in the league. It's 6, 7, 7, 7, 6. In Champions League, he do well. 8, 7, 8, 9, 9. And in Cup, he do good. So, there are things to consider. A lot of things to consider, especially when you're managing. And the other thing is that. 
certain players do perform very well in certain places like that player that I just show you he performed very well in in Champions League this player that I'm gonna show you right now he performed extremely well in league he have an overall of 17 goals in 18 matches in the league a, a very good player and for the season alone he scored five goals and two assists two men of the match and that's the good thing there are two I better finish this off in one video. There are two formations that I want to talk about today, and let's go to fixtures because we're done with that transfer system. We realize that there are a lot of things wrong with it, and we're not going over it. So the first one is the match that I was featuring last time when I was talking about how to defend again, how to play against hard defending team, and that match was against Ado, and I did say that the formation that I was gonna use was gonna be quite different, a little different than what was shown. So we had a good game, a lot of missed pass, missed chances due to bad passing. And if I can remember correctly, I tried to pass down the middle, which may be the one. Maybe you can use mix, mix passing or double flanks whichever works better but I did came up with third one goal and a decent amount of position I had this was a formation they used and the thing that I did say that was they have absolutely no protection in the center of the field and I don't know how this team or other players other people in the league can't beat this team except for me and uh, one other one so Let's get to the other one, and this one is in Champions League, and it should be official. So, in the match, the players they blah 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 blah, a lot of good things. That good. If we have so many, that means that so many thumbs up. That means they're doing something right there. Um. They scored in 10 minutes with a formation that I use. I switched it to the formation that I'm gonna show you in a few. And I ended up scoring one, two, three substitution, yellow card for five goals. This was the formation that I started with. It didn't work actually. I actually end up got a goal scored on me using this formation. And I had to do something drastic. And this is the formation they use. Uh, three, five, two. You can say. So a uh, few days pass, and I knew the formation that I was gonna use to beat it. And given the fact that I win four nil, all likes that means this formation is the official way to beat the four five two. 452 3 5 2 I should say. I scored in 9 minutes. Yellow card for them. Scored. Substitution. Scored. A decent match. I had a good amount of possession, which is a good thing. Even though this team was stronger than me. And this was the formation, same way. And this is the formation that I used. Just a simple thing as pushing the formation up and playing through the middle, which is something you need to do every time when you play against a formation with the V style. I don't know why it works, but it just works. So I want to end it there. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.